Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn and this channel is Dawn Does Keto. This channel is all about my accountability and my personal journey on the ketogenic diet. As you can see, I'm in my car today. It is raining, which is not fun. And I am going to try to vlog for you guys a little bit today. I am headed to Cincinnati, which is about a three hour drive for me to meet up with my friends, Emily from Ready Set Keto, Jackie from Jackie's Jinx Journey, and Jen from Just Jen Delaney. Now the three of them are headed out on the low carb cruise soon, which goes out in June. I, however, am not going on that trip, but am still going along for the ride today because they're shopping for cruise clothes. That's their plan. They're shopping for cruise clothes today. I'm sure we'll find other things along the way. Today is also Jen Delaney's birthday. So happy birthday, Jen. I'm so excited to get to see you and spend your birthday with you. So I'm getting ready to head out. You guys saw in the opening clip, I have my car coffee ready. I have my electrolytes ready. I'm taking an electrolyte tablet and my K2 D3 tablet with me because I take that with my coffee. It's better to take it with a fat. So usually when I break my fast and drink my coffee, that's when I take my vitamins. So I'm all set and I'm going to hit the road and I don't think we're supposed to get too much rain. It really just showed clouds. It's at a drizzle right now. I'm sure it'll be a nice drive. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see you guys later. It smells good in here. What are you doing? What's that? I'm getting attacked by your vicious dogs. Oh, I'm sure. Can you smell my doggy? Can you smell my doggy? I came the furthest and I'm the first one here. How about that? Are you proud of me? Yes. Thank you. I won. I won. I was here before everybody. <laughs> That's so funny. I called her and she's like, I'm driving. You made it. And you look adorable. I didn't want to mess with you. I said, well, she's not wearing her dress, but she looks frigging cute. Look how, look how cute she looks, everybody. I was wearing my favorite dragon dress and then I spilled coffee all over it. You so. look adorable. <laughs> Jen, is that all your stuff? No, four people, one cart. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're just keep throwing stuff in there oh my goodness. no when we go up to the register like everybody but one person scatters <laughs> so one person stuck like oh my gosh Ooh, that back is from that is from the back is like, that is very flattering girl oh yeah that cinches you right there for 30 bucks you can't beat that you get a sucker in or thing a sucker in or thing you don't even you don't even need it like the dark color yeah it camouflages everything Spin around. Show show us the flare. Ooh. Sandals with us, right? <laughs> no socks. Totally. <laughs> totally <laughs> socks. I love it. Ew. Socks with sandals. This? Is it too much or? No. No. Nope. It's cute. And it looks super comfortable. It is. It is. And it has pockets. <laughs> and it's like a t shirt. It's like wearing an oversized t shirt. Yes. And that, those are the to, best. Like, the dinners or whatever. Spin, yeah. spin around. Give us a. Does it make my butt look okay? <laughs> the blue matches perfect with the. Mm -hmm. The darker jean shorts. Yeah. She thought the shirt would be short, but actually, I like it like that. I do too. Yeah, it shows off more of the shorts. Yeah. Short and it's nice. Ooh, mama. I like it. I forgot to record the uh, brisket earlier. I can get all of them. But we're having bacon and burgers. This is what's left of the brisket. We devoured it. Papa. Papa. 
It's gonna eat my hair. Well guys, as you can see, it's dark out. It is nine o'clock at night and I'm just now leaving James and Emily's house. <laughs> the light just went out. So I probably won't get home till after midnight. It's gonna be rough. But we had an amazing day and I was super happy to spend the day with Jen for her birthday and my wonderful friends. So I will be with you guys here in a little bit and give you an, a weight update at the end of this video. Happy Monday, everybody. Just wanted to jump on here real quick and just give you guys a real quick update. It has been kind of a crummy day. It's well, the weather here is not pleasant. It, you know, it's May 1st and we're in Northeast Ohio, so you can't expect like, you know, 80 and sunny. Right. But come we've, on. We've been lucky with some of that weather. But... We had a mild winter, but come on. It's time for some sunshine and some warmth. This cold, wet, gray, rainy weather is Ridiculous. Well, and because I door dash, I was out in it all day long. So it was cold, it was windy, and it poured. I got wet all day long. So it was just yucky. My Any recommendations for where we should move? <laughs> yeah. Drop comments down below. Tell where, us where, where the going? best place to go to get away from this crud. Everybody's going to say it's pretty much like that everywhere. <laughs> no, Florida's not like that. I mean, but they get a lot of rain. It's just not yeah, but it, as cold. But it, they can get cold weather, so... Yeah, they can, but they got a lot more sunshine than we get. But with that being said, you guys saw before this mm -hmm. clip that obviously I was out of town with the girls this weekend. Monday I woke up... No, Sunday I woke up and just my allergies and sinuses are acting up. Mike's allergies and sinuses are acting up. And I know it's just because this weather's like horrible. So I was like totally stuffed up on Sunday when I woke up and congested and just, ugh. so anyway, we're going to very quickly jump into struggles and successes and give you our weight updates. We're going to talk about No Way May, wrap this video up as quickly as possible. So I went out to eat three times this week before, if you count eating with James and Emily, but that was at their house. Yeah, so... you didn't go out to eat. That doesn't count. But it was a lot of food. Okay. That, yeah, but the amount of food isn't relevant. It's it, what you eat. But when, oh man, I ate so much. Okay, Monday night we went out for wings, which I think we talked about in our live on Wednesday. We discussed this. We went out to our favorite wing place and had wings. And again, those are totally on plan. I just know that they don't use the best oil. Right. So we are, are always prepared for that. Wednesday night, the night of our live, we went to Jimmy John's. And that's because we were on a major time crunch to get home and get set up for the live. So we had unwitches. Again, totally stayed on plan for that. Yeah, and going back to Monday, so I had wings too, but I, so they have a wing bar, an all-you-can-eat wing bar, oh, and that's yeah. what, and I tried that because we had never had it before, and I didn't eat, you know, the same type of wings. I ate like three or four different flavors. They also had French fries, so I did have some of those, and, you know, I had my, my carbonated beverage, so... Although I would have normally done that on wing night, I mean, I didn't really change how I ate, but I didn't eat as well as you did. I didn't get the did. bar. I just yeah. got wings. So that was Monday, Wednesday. Then Friday evening, we went out to dinner with another couple. They had wanted to get together for dinner. We recommended a barbecue place that's local here called uh, Jimmy's Backyard Bar Barbecue. Is that what it's called? Yeah. We went and I had chicken. I had brisket and I had pulled pork. Just like little a la carte sides of each kind of meat. And I took my own sauce. I took Primal Kitchen jalapeno mango sauce. That way I wasn't using like their barbecue sauce that probably has like sugar and all that stuff in it. He had the regular sauce. Yeah, I had salmon, brisket, and ribs. 
with their barbecue sauce on it. Right. I also had a side of macaroni and cheese because their macaroni and cheese is phenomenal. Um, it looked, I also, it looked really good. You know, it's really good. I had a carbonated beverage and I also had a corn cornbread and a roll and green beans. The green beans made up for it. No, it didn't. Oh, okay. No. And then Saturday, of course, was the girls' day, and we ate at James and Emily's, and they they provided. We didn't. I no, did I, not go. I meant we as like the girls. Right. We right. ate at James and Emily's house. They made a. I don't even know how big the brisket was. It was like I don't know. It might have been twenty pounds. I think I ate half of it by myself because I ate a ton of the brisket. It was so good. It just like melted in your mouth. It was unbelievably delicious. And then we had fried cheese with that. We came back to the bacon and the hamburgers, which you guys saw in the previous clip. And then we tried a couple keto bricks. We tried the new blueberry keto brick. And I tried a mint chocolate keto brick because I hadn't tried that yet. So when I left there, I was stuck. Stuffed. I mean, when I tell you I was stuffed, I ate so much food. It was crazy. It was crazy good, but it was a lot of food. So that's about it. With all of that being said, I got up this morning and I got on the scale and I weighed in at 174.2. So I went up one pound. It's that whole two steps forward, one step back. I lost 2.2 last week and then turned around and gained a pound of it back this week. I know I ate a lot of food this week. We ate out a lot this week. There's but again, you didn't go nuts. I mean, for whatever the reason is, doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand it. Mm -mm. When you hear my way in, it'll make a lot more sense. <laughs> what was your way in? Go ahead, give it to me. So I weighed in today at 157.8. I'm up 2.4 pounds from last week, but I ate like that so because I also, you know why. I know why. And Saturday when you were gone, as we have discussed in previous videos, when, when you're not here. When Dawn leaves, Mike goes crazy. Mike doesn't go crazy, but he does not <laughs> eat on plan because number one, it's boring to do that by myself. I don't like doing it alone. It's boring to eat right. And I don't understand And it's a that. lot easier just to go over and get a pizza, which is what I did. I got a pizza and some crazy bread. And so I'm up. I mean, I'm up two and a half, two, almost two and a half pounds. So, I mean, I expected that. Yeah. We see, we've seen seen probably... what happens when you and I are focused on our meals. We have not been of late. No. And I'm not trying to make excuses, no. but we have a lot on our plates right now. I haven't even had time to go to the grocery store. No, we, I have, mean, no, we I have, have nothing no, to eat. No free time. Yeah. yeah, we have got to get to the store this week. I've got to prep us for our camping trip that's coming up. I just haven't had a chance to now, do it. Now, that camping trip, we'll eat great. Yeah. Because we did last time. I mean, we, we well, planned and I'll it out. Ha and I'll have everything prepared for right. it. Right. And that's what makes it different. When when you and I plan this stuff out, when we sit down and talk about what we're going to have, we kind of lay out an itinerary for what we're going to do for the week, we do fantastic. Yeah. We didn't do that this week. So before I jump into just real quick talking about No Way May, I just wanted to talk about my year basically in review because when we did our live on Wednesday, that was to kind of mark the one year anniversary of my channel right. since I started it. And since I started my channel, which was April 26, 2022, I weighed in that day at 188.6 pounds. This week I weighed in at 174.2. So since I've started my YouTube channel, I'm down about 14 and a half pounds. In a year, that's not very much, but guys, I'm happy that it is it's a loss. Right. Because had I not started this channel, I've said this before, it, I would have definitely gained a lot more well, weight Well, you and back. I would have, we would have done, oh, we would have eaten so many times, gone out to eat to places that we never go, like a, like Italian places and stuff. I mean, it yeah. would have been, yeah, no, you're, you're not wrong. I know that over this last year, instead of being down for overall, being down 14 and a half pounds, I probably would have been up 15 to 20 pounds easily. Oh, yeah. So... Although Both it's, of us. So although it's not a ton of weight for a year's worth of time, I will take it and I'm happy that it's a downward trend and not an upward trend. Right. So let's just talk about real quick the scale for the month of May. So we weighed in this morning 
and that's the last time until the end of May. I'll where... put the scale away tomorrow morning when I get up for work so that you don't know where it's at. Nope. And... He, Mike has to literally hide it from me because otherwise I can't stay off of it. So he will hide the scale. Neither one of us will be weighing ourselves till the end of the month. So we will see what happens. I'm hoping that it will help with our stress level, my stress level, because knowing I have to weigh in does cause me stress. I do it and I know that I, you know, shouldn't let myself get stressed about it, but I do. And when it doesn't say what I want it to say, it bothers me. And again, I know it's not supposed to do that, but it does. So we are taking a break from it for the month of May. And I think just overall, it will be better for us. We aren't even gonna be here for half the month anyway. Well, and I was just gonna say, if there's a consolation to that, no way may even if we didn't do that you aren't gonna be home long enough to use the scale that much anyway no not between may we leave may the 17th may and, and we don't get may. back till memorial day so like 13 days we're gonna be on the road anyway yeah. and we wouldn't even be weighing in so that makes it a little bit easier but and eating on the road will be a lot more difficult so we'll probably lose like 15 20 pounds on that vacation well, I will probably do some videos of just things that we are packing to help keep us on track. We are taking food to eat on eat on the road, things that we can, you know, grab and go, hard boiled eggs, you know, lunch meat, things that are easy to eat. We'll keep you guys updated on that probably in a future video. So Well it won't be a past video. Just so you know. <laughs> You're so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> You sound just like my daughter. Well, that's because it's true. All right, I that's... just snorted. snorted. I, I heard that. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I must. There must be inflammation in my sinus cavities. I think there or my is. My nasal cavity. There is definitely inflammation in mine because, like I said, I haven't been able to breathe for two days. So there's definitely something going on. All right, guys, that's it. We're gonna wrap up this video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Everyone, go have a great week. Yep.